So my name is uh, Dimitri Dehaene. I'm a marine biologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. I'm actually an associate research scientist. And we are here in the uh, Hubs Hall Experimental Aquarium of Scripps. Those tube worms are called the parchment tube worm. As you can see here, they build these amazing structures, those tubes that are made of a material called the parchment material, almost like paper. It's very amazing and interesting. It's soft, but yet very sturdy. And inside the tube, as you can see, there is a little opening here, and there is also a very little opening at the bottom here. And the worm lives in that tube. It builds it, and it builds it as it grows. So you have, when you go diving, just offshore of La Jolla, just carpets of those tubes with hundreds and hundreds of them that basically hold hundreds and hundreds of worms. But also the worm produces a very interesting bioluminescence through a mucus. The mucus might be responsible for building the tube, but the mucus is also bioluminescent. The light is visible, it's beautiful, and it's blue in color, very unusual. Our goal is to be able to study the mucus and um, synthesize the light production back in the laboratory. The excitement of new light producing compounds is very attractive. It's attractive from the very fundamental basic aspect of research, but also for the various applications that such new compounds that produce light or new photoproteins could provide. Uh, the two papers we, we, we published address the basic fundamental biochemical demonstration that the light indeed originates from a, a chemical reaction that is novel, that is not known and yet still remains to be described. The light might depend on riboflavin, which is a vitamin B2, which is a vitamin that you and I need, and so does the worm. But in this particular case, the worm seems to be using it to produce light. Uh, the the process of that is still unknown. Does the worm acquire the vitamin B2 from the diet strictly, or maybe from symbiosis with bacteria? And all these are questions that are still open.